Dr. Jorge Campos is a urologist in private practice in Mexico City. We recently spoke to him at the American Urological Association's annual meeting about a 25-year-old woman he treated. During pregnancy, she had uh, expelled spontaneously about eight stones. After delivery, she had a lot of pain in the lower quadrant of the, um, of the abdomen, the right. This is a CAT scan of the kidneys. It shows a few of the stones on each side of the kidney. There were nearly 40, without counting the one that was in the distal ureter. We have some measurement of the stones. There are 8.1 by 9 millimeters, so it's a rather large stone. We took her to uh, the operating room right away, and it started with the right kidney that was uh, obstructed. We went with the lasers to, um, to go into the um, ureter to get the stone out. And then after that, we went to each urinary system and tried to retrieve most of the urinary stones she had. And uh, we pulled about 80% on that first procedure. We only used one of the uh, Optiflex 1.3 uh, French basket for a stone basket from Boston with one uh, guide wire and one uh, basket was enough to do that in, th in a three hour period. The results was, were, were excellent. She uh, started to feel better. Both skin started to work. And uh, four weeks after that, uh, she came back to the hospital for double J stent retrieval to complete the whole, uh, the whole procedure. And here we can see we're using the 1.3 French stone basket. This stone was impacted into the renal papilla with the sludge, with the shaft of the basket on the side then open the basket in the cavity, then pull the basket open to trap the stone. Once we have a, a hard peel on the stone and it's, uh, it's trapped, we just pull it out very softly so we won't damage any, any part of the ureter. This was not fragmented or anything. It's a nine millimeter stone. You can see the ureteral meatus. There we introduce the flexible endoscopes and we go all the way up to see the urinary system. Basically, with no bleeding whatsoever, uh, the renal papilla have microscopic calcification, so we also hit that with, uh, with the home laser. And she was rendered 100% stone-free. We have here some of the stones. There were several. We usually tag the three separate, the one that was in the ureter and the others that are in each kidney, and they are analyzed separately. These products, they are very specific. They are good products, and they're very soft to the touch of the infrarenal system.